Hello Patrick people and welcome back. I'm Stephanie, one of the BMW geniuses here at Patrick BMW and today I want to talk to you about the BMW digital key. And now we're going to go over what it is, how it works, and compatibility and everything you need to know about the digital key. So what exactly is the BMW digital key? Well, using a compatible Samsung Galaxy smartphone, you're able to unlock, lock your vehicle, as well as start your car just by using your phone. No extra accessories needed. Uh, simply take your phone and you're ready to go. Now there are a couple uh, prerequisites and requirements in order to use your phone to unlock, lock, and start your vehicle. So you do need a compatible Samsung Galaxy smartphone and it needs to be running on Android 8.0 or higher. Now you're also going to need option 322 which is comfort access already installed and equipped on your vehicle. Another requirement is your phone cannot be in a contract with Verizon Wireless. Uh, this is because Verizon actually blocks the embedded security element that's required in order for you to use your phone to unlock, lock, and start your vehicle. So unfortunately you can't use it with a Verizon plan, but any other plan will be acceptable. With your BMW digital key, you're able to share your vehicle access with up to five uh, friends and family members. Um, they do need the BMW Connected Drive app. You also need it as well in order for you to enable your digital key. Now if you guys don't have a Samsung Galaxy phone or you are on the Verizon plan, we do have an alternative for you. So this is the BMW key card. Now this key card will come with the comfort access feature on your new BMW and you can use this key card regardless of what kind of phone you have. It can be a flip phone from the early 2000s and you'll still be able to use this key card regardless of what phone you have or what network you're on. Now this is two separate um, entities as I'd like to call it. So you have your BMW digital key which is going to be used on your smartphone and you also are able to use your BMW key card. So it's two separate things so either way you'll still get the key card to use. Uh, kind of a little cheat trick is you can actually put your key card um, and actually put it in the back of your phone case and then you'll still be able to kind of use your phone to unlock it uh, but you won't have to worry about the key card you know flying off somewhere so just kind of a little quick tip for you guys. So how exactly does the BMW digital key work? Well it uses NFC technology embedded in your phone which kind of talks to the um, little transmitter that's in the driver door handle in order for you to unlock and lock your vehicle. Uh, now if you want to start your vehicle you're going to place your phone. We'll do a quick demonstration for you. So once you unlock your vehicle you're going to take your smartphone and you're going to place it in the tray in your center console located above your cup holders. So all you have to do in order to start your vehicle is you're going to take your smartphone and you're going to place it in this little tray right here and then that'll allow you to start your vehicle uh, as normally. So let's go ahead and I'll give you guys a quick demonstration of where you place your phone on the driver door handle in order to lock and unlock your vehicle. All right, so for demonstration purposes, uh, this will only work on the driver door handle, so just uh, wanna remember that. Uh, so you're gonna take your smartphone and you're gonna have it facing up so you can see your screen. What you're going to do is you're just going to place the phone right about here in the center of your door handle and that will lock or unlock the vehicle. What you may have is, um, you know, is this necessarily secure because, you know, I can use my phone to unlock, lock, and start the vehicle. Uh, what kind of security measures do you guys have in place? Uh, so this is highly secure because of the hardware already installed on your smartphone and you are required to have the initial authorization performed at a BMW dealership yeah, just like Patrick BMW. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me for going over some frequently asked questions about the BMW digital key. Uh, again, if you guys have additional questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, Patrick people. Mm -hmm.